31 years, 11,315 days, or 271,584 hours, or 16,295,040 minutes, or even more precisely, 978,902,400 seconds. But who's counting? Oh, right, that would be me. It's been 31 years, three decades of my life navigating the relentless ebb and flow of fibromyalgia. In quiet moments like today, when the world slows down and time feels both fleeting and eternal, I find myself reflecting on the nature of time itself. For those of us who navigate the labyrinth of chronic illness, time takes on a different shade. It becomes a delicate dance between hope and uncertainty, between excitement and disappointment. But I am more than willing to take that risk. I want to dream, to plan adventures, even if when it comes to it, it doesn't happen because of a flare or because the pain is so intense I physically can't go because moving is too painful. I've grown intimately familiar with the unpredictability of flares, those sudden storms that disrupt my plans and ambitions. I felt the weight of disappointment as cherished moments slipped through my fingers, cancelled by the unstable whims of my body. But within this dance of frustration and adaptation, I discovered the profound wisdom of accepting what I cannot change. It's a hard-fought lesson, one that teaches us resilience and the beauty of finding joy in the present moment, however fleeting it may be. Lately, as my health throws me more challenges and it becomes more difficult to manage my flares and symptoms, I become more aware that the time to chase my dreams is now. I don't know what tomorrow brings and I may find myself in the future wishing I did things because today seemed so much easier compared to what the future may be. Yet, amid the uncertainty, there is a strange kind of liberation. I have learned to live in the now, to seize the moment of relief and turn them into opportunities. Yes, I have fibromyalgia, but it doesn't have me. It's a part of my journey, but it doesn't define my destination. So, as I make plans, big and small, I dream of travels, of laughter-filled gatherings, of quiet evenings under the stars. I have learned to cherish the good days and to be gentle with myself on the bad ones. I'm not going to wait for flares to pass to live my life. I'm going to learn to do it in the midst of my flares. People often don't believe I'm in so much pain. I've heard it all, but you look so healthy, you're always traveling, or you do so much, you couldn't possibly be that you're always in pain. If I'm laying my soul bare here, and I am, I would say I haven't had a completely pain-free day since I was in my late teens. Now, this isn't to say it's all been darkness, far from it. Fibromyalgia, with its never-ending unpredictability, has been my toughest teacher. It has also sculpted resilience into my bones and compassion into my heart. There are some who whisper that I have changed. To them, I respond, wouldn't you? Of course something this defining would change me. What would be the purpose of it then? Change is not bad. It's part of existence, of being human. It's about recognizing and honoring our experiences. I heard once, that's not how life's supposed to be. But what if there's no supposed to be? What if there's just life and it's all messiness and unpredictability? 
In this delicate balance, we learn to appreciate the simple pleasures, to savor the good days and to hold on to hope that tomorrow may bring relief. Time may be our adversary, but it's also our ally offering the gift of perspective. It reminds us to live fully in the moments we're given, to cherish the love and support that surround us, and to find strength in our ability to adapt and persevere. As we navigate the twists and turns of our journey, remember that time, with all of its complexities, is a part of our lives. It may not always be kind, but it's a reminder of our resilience and our capacity for growth. If you take anything from my story, let it be this. Every pain, every challenge is also a teacher. Lean into the lessons even when they hurt. Every moment of pain has also been a moment of perseverance and it has made me stronger for it. As I grow this platform, a space for others like me, I want to share the 10 lessons I learned. 1. Resilience is forged. Every morning I wake up, regardless of the pain, is a testament to the human spirit's unbeatable will. The harder the wind blows, the stronger the tree's root grow. 2. Empathy amplifies. Living with fibromyalgia made me attuned to the silent struggles of others. Pain, visible or not, is a universal experience and understanding it deepens our connections to one another. 3. The present is precious. When your body is a collection of pain, you learn to find solace in short moments of relief, teaching you the invaluable skills of being present. 4. Perception is fluid. What's a good day for some might be a bad day for others. It's not for us to decide what others feel and it's not for others to judge how we feel. 5. Self-advocacy is key. Speaking up for my health, needs and boundaries became second nature. If you don't stand up for yourself, who will? 6. Vulnerability is strength. Showing my scars, discussing my pain, and admitting when I needed help became acts of bravery, not weakness. 7. Growth lies outside comfort. I found that confronting and challenging my limitations paved the way for growth and healing. 8. Acceptance isn't defeat. There is power in accepting what you can't change and focusing on what you can influence. 9. Community is crucial. Through social media, I discovered the power of shared experiences. We thrive when we're understood. 10. Joy exists in the smallest corners. A pain-free hour, a sunny day, a call from a loved one, they hold profound joy when pain is constant. For those who have been shackled by expectations and limitations, whether physical or otherwise, I offer this. Don't let anyone define your pain, your journey, or your potential. Break the mold. Cherish your scars and always, always keep moving forward, no matter the pace. If you find value in this kind of videos, like and leave a comment. And if you know someone who may benefit from hearing this, share this video with them. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.